Good morning from the Ruby Room at Coronel Public Library. I'm Miss Jennifer and welcome to Baby Story Time. Let's uh, go ahead and get started with our opening song, Say Hello to Baby's Nose. Ready? One, two, three. Say hello to Baby's Nose. Hello nose, hello nose. Say hello to Baby's Nose. Hello nose. Say hello to baby's tummy, hello tummy, hello tummy. Say hello to baby's tummy, hello tummy. Say hello to baby's toes, hello toes, hello toes. Say hello to baby's toes, hello toes. Yay! All right. So a little introduction for our craft, and of course, I will go over how to do this at the very, very end. So here we've got a lovely little um, umbrella craft, and it's got a cute little poem with it, but I will go over that at the very, very end. Um, for this one, I am gonna recommend, um, and of course, as always, the background will be available to print at home in the description of the video. You will find that there. And I recommend um, doing, um, you make your own stamp pads for this. All right. Okay, let's talk about our early, uh, uh, our baby sign for the week. So this week we're gonna learn the sign for I love you, which a lot of people know this one. For this one you're going to have uh, your middle finger and your ring finger pointed down with your index finger, your pinky, and your thumb going out. And this is, I love you. So this is considered an advanced sign. It's a little bit harder for uh, little ones because it requires a lot of fine motor skills to hold these two fingers down with the other ones up. It's a little bit hard. Baby's uh, gesture might look a little bit different. Remember, of course, uh, the point of baby uh, sign language is not really to learn sign language. It's, it's help ease communication between you and baby while they're still working on those verbal skills. So if they decide something else can mean I love you, that is perfectly fine if you want to simplify the sign. Again, it's really to help ease communication rather than to actually genuinely learn American Sign Language. But if you do want to teach the proper sign, it's I love you. All right, moving on to the early literacy uh, tip of the week. This week's tip is to, when you're speaking with baby, use the specific names for things. For example, cat versus kitten. Um, these help your child learn new words and you help them understand the differences between similar things, which is something they need to build in order to read. So use those specific words for um, things. So be as, as uh, specific as possible when you're describing things. All right. Let's go ahead and move on now to our traditional nursery rhyme for this month. Of course, we're doing Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and fiddle, and we're lifting baby when we jump over the moon. All right, let's give that a try on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Yay! All right, doing that again. One, two, three. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Woo! The little dog laughed just to see such a sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Yay! All right, we're gonna do our lap bounce next and it's Baby Goes Bumpy Boo on the count of three. Ready? One, two, Three. Baby goes bumpy boo, baby goes bumpy bye, baby goes bumpy bee on top of my knee. I bounce you to the left, I bounce you to the right, I up bounce you up and down and I bounce you out of sight. Oh, baby goes bumpy boo, baby goes bumpy bye, baby goes bumpy bee on top of my knee. I bounce you very fast, I bounce you very slow, I bounce you up and down and back we both will go. Yay! All right, doing that a second time. Ready? One, two, three. Baby goes bumpy boo, baby goes bumpy bye, baby goes bumpy bee on top of my knee. I bounce you to the left, 
I bounce you to the right, I bounce you up and down, and I bounce you out of sight. Oh, baby goes bumpy boo, baby goes bumpy bye, baby goes bumpy bee. On top of my knee, I bounce you very fast, I bounce you very slow, I bounce you up and down, and back we both will go. Yay! Our, our next uh, little song is our little finger tickle. It's um, bunny tickle. All right, let's give that a try on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Round and round the garden, hop the little bunny. One, hop, two, hop, tickle you on your tummy. Yay! All right, let's do that a second time on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Round and round the garden, hop the little bunny. One hop, two hop, tickle you on your tummy. Yay! All right, that brings us to our scarf song. So get out your little scarf. I find that the more sheer is the best because then baby can still see you. But let's do a uh, where is baby? Ready? One, two, three. Where is baby? Where is baby? There they are. There they are. I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad to see you. Peek-a-boo. Peek-a-boo. Yay! All right, doing that again. Ready? One, two, three. Where is baby? Where is baby? There they are. There they are. I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad to see you. peek a boo peek a boo Yay! All right. That brings us to our next song, which is I Can Make My Baby Smile. And of course, you can change the uh, lyrics to be any of your choice. Uh, you can do different body parts. So we're just going to name off um, when I tickle her nose and when I tickle her toes, but you can do any body part. All right, on the count of three, ready? One, two, three. I can make my baby smile, baby smile, baby smile. I can make my baby smile when I tickle their nose. I can make my baby smile, baby smile, baby smile. I can make my baby smile when I tickle their toes. Yay! All right, doing that a second time. One, two, three. I can make my baby smile, baby smile, baby smile. I can make my baby smile when I tickle their nose. I can make my baby smile, baby smile, baby smile. I can make my baby smile when I tickle their toes. Yay! All right, that brings us to Zoom Zoom on the count of three. One, two, three. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you wanna take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Yay! All right, doing that a second time. Ready? One, two, three. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Yay! All right, that brings us to our goodbye song, and then we'll go over the craft. Ready? One, two, three. See you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. All right. So, of course, 
I didn't print them off, but I here is the craft. It says, pitter patter raindrops falling from the sky. Here's my umbrella, hold it up high. And you're just gonna wanna get a footprint along the um, umbrella. If you've got really little teeny tiny feet, you can do a couple um, in the segments or you can do like handprints. However it works best for you because I know uh, the umbrella can be a bit um, big. And of course in the description below I have a pink version, I have a yellow version and a green version. Um, I recommend using this do-it-yourself stamp pads for these because um, I think they would look best with um, pastel colors because that's the colors of the umbrellas. Um, because the purchasable stamp pads are more of a primary dominant color rather than a softer pastel color. But that is completely up to you. Um, and of course, after this, there'll be a little thing about going over stamp pads and how to make them at home. All right. I hope you enjoyed Baby Story Time. I will see you next week for another one. All right. Bye. All right, so we're going to talk about how to get handprints and footprints for crafts. So I always love to use these lovely stamp pads. This one is actually a little dry because it's been a while since I used it. So I'm actually also going to go over how to re-ink them. So this is already a mixture of... Um, water-based paint, so washable paints, and I've watered down further. So this is two to one parts. So two parts paint for one part water. It's already mixed for me. I'm going to give a thorough shaking because um, washable paint does not like being mixed with water. Maybe I'll let go of the table so it's not shaking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and I'm going to add the paint to my sponge pad here. And I'm just gonna push it into the sponge pad. I'm gonna test it with my other hand. So that's looking pretty good. So these wet wipes are a lifesaver when it comes to doing any of the crafts with the little little ones. And of course it's washable, so it comes right off. Super nice. So I'll show you what this one looks like. My hand's a little bit big, of course. So with babies, what you wanna do is you wanna push down, not too hard. Get it, make sure you have a nice coating. Push it down on whatever you're doing and then raise it up immediately and you'll get nice hand prints like that. So that looks really good, has nice details. So that's with um, my lovely sponge pad here. However, if you don't have that, you can make your own and um, I get the jumbo pads off of Amazon. There's no real brand because they're all kind of the same. Um, and you might have to re-ink those ones as well. So here I have two sponges, depending on the size of the, your baby's hand or foot, you might need one or two. It's the same thing. I'm going to saturate it with my washable paint. And I just have it on the tray so that it's easier to use. And then I'm gonna smoosh around the paint so that it's in there. And then the same thing. So I have a nice coating. And I get pretty much just as good of a handprint out of that one. So that's also a great alternative to that because most people can get sponges at home if you don't want to invest in the baby, um, you know, the jumbo sized uh, stamp pads. So yeah, so that's the basics. Um, footprints are the easiest to get. 
because of course, you know, babies, once they, they can make little fists. So I find the easiest thing to do is to gently uncurl those little fists, put down their hand quickly and firmly, and then lift up just as quickly. Um, with the footprints, it might be a little bit ticklish. Um, I don't recommend painting straight on because that's super ticklish. Most babies do not enjoy that experience. So yeah, that's the simple how to um, get a good hand print or footprint. Um, and yeah, so this video will be attached to all of my videos in case you need to re-reference it or I have someone new. And the, the background will be attached. All right, see you again next week for another uh, baby craft and baby story time.